In this video, we will talk about the three phases of the Pedagogical Act and web tools that can be integrated into them. Before you start planning, you need to ask yourself some questions. What do you want your students to learn? Which technology is available? What is the added value to using technology? And how can I integrate technology into my planning? These are the three phases of the Pedagogical Act in planning. So there's the preparation, carrying out, and then the integration. Remember the examples that were explained in the Set Learning Intentions video? It's now time to go a little deeper into planning. These are many types of activities that can be done in the preparation phase. The logos you see show you that tools can be used for one type of activity or many. For example, Edpuzzle can be used to introduce a topic with questions integrated into a video. Quizzes can be used to check students' understanding as well as prepare them for a task. You will explore them more soon. In the carrying out phase, students often participate in various activities with different intentions in order to be able to produce a final task. With Book Creator, students can write online books and comic strips, as well as present a concept using text, audio, video, and sound. If they want to create a video presentation, Adobe Spark Video will suit their needs. Find out how to use these tools later. In the integration phase, it's important that students reflect on the process or possible transfers in their life. Flipgrid is an easy-to-use video response tool that can help do these pedagogical activities. Of course, students should have the chance to present what they've done in order to get feedback from their peers. Don't forget this phase, it's an important one. In this course, we will be presenting some tools that can be integrated in many different contexts with various learning intentions. There's so many interesting tools out there that it's hard to choose just a few. The tools we chose are free. We can access them anywhere with internet, offer an easy interface, have sharing options, and can be used on many devices. Some tools even have teacher accounts with the possibility of managing groups. Let's look at the tools that were chosen for you. Here they are. We'll explain generally what they can do before you start exploring them in detail. This video will help you choose which ones you would like to find out more about in this module. If you already know some of these tools, remember that there's more than one way to use them. This online course will offer new ideas and help you integrate them into your classroom with a learning intention. Before we start giving you a little more detail, we suggest you use your participant booklet to take notes about each tool we describe. After this video, you will choose four of these tools to explore even more with various activities. Your notes will help you remember the general idea behind each tool and help you make your choice. You'll see, it'll be hard to choose just four. With that puzzle, you can ask students to watch videos and answer questions that are integrated at appropriate moments. Videos can be taken from different platforms, including YouTube. You can even have access to educational videos you didn't know existed. Quizlet is an online tool to study vocabulary using learning tools and games. There are thousands of quizzes already made, or you can create your own. Learners can use Quizlet from anywhere at any time. With Adobe Spark Video, Teachers and students can easily create narrated videos, media images, and web pages. You can start from a variety of templates or start from scratch. Padlet offers an online bulletin board space where people can collaborate, share information like texts, links, images, and videos. Padlets can be private or shared, and it could be used in many contexts. A great tool for checking students' understanding is quizzes. It's a self-paced quiz tool you can use on any device. Teachers can manage different groups and assign quizzes they've created or taken from the thousands of already made quizzes available. The name says it all, Book Creator. But actually, there's more you can do with this tool than create online books with integrated videos, images, sounds, or voice. You can also make posters, comic strips, and more. These tools are together since they have many similarities. 
make beautiful posters, comic strips, public service announcements, and flyers with the option of including your own images. There's so many templates to choose from. Of course, in ESL, we want to hear our students speak. Well, this tool uses a camera and microphone to record a student's video response, interaction between students, or simply a presentation to demonstrate understanding. We know there's many tools to choose from, but it's time to learn more about them. Don't forget to check your notes. Ready to start?